Nerd Prospecting here. Welcome to my channel. We are back on the Thompson River with a bunch of more patrons. We've got Andrew again, Kyle, all the way from Oregon. Jason. Jason. Hi. Jason and Jason, you're at a lower manger land somewhere. Yeah, Maple Ridge. Perfect. And James. From Delta. From Delta. We were going to hit the Fraser River today, but you know, spring runoff has started on the Fraser. It's way up and uh, the weather there was pretty nasty. And these guys here want to try the high banker, so we can run the high banker here. We decided to come back to the Thompson River and see what we can find. So I don't know what the... Oh, here comes the wind. I don't know what today's going to hold. I'll turn the camera back on when something exciting happens. So until then, enjoy. Here we go, the guys are hard at work. Feeding the beast. Feed that beast. And again, as always, we're discharging down into our tailings pond, but not back into the river. Muddy water going into our tailings pond. We're working a bunch of material behind this big rock here. Nice looking stuff. Though most of our stuff is in the top about six inches down onto that hard sort of packed in dirty clay layer. have stopped after their first about half hour run. I'm going to show them how we clean this thing out. We start with the bottom foot. It's separate from everything else and that gives us an idea if we're running too hot, too steep, anything like that. If we see too much gold down there, we know we have to adjust things. Really all the gold should be in the first two sections. Almost everything drops up there. But if we see stuff down that far, we're probably running too steep. We're definitely not running too much water right now because we have the water pretty low, but it might be too steep. So if we want to get one of our big gold pans, just fill it full of water. I'll show you how we rinse that out. So yeah, this bottom section here just comes out all by itself. We will check all the stuff underneath as well. But then it's the pan upside down and just curve it as it goes through. That opens up all the little tiny uh, cuts and the ripples. Just like that. Inspect that you don't, you haven't missed anything. That's good. And this is a small enough amount of material, you don't really even have to pan it down to check it. So there's one piece, there's another. So one really flat piece flittered through, and then I'd say about four, five little pieces of flour. That's not bad. That's not bad compared to what you're going to see up in the top mass. <laughs> yeah. I should see in color. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who's who's keeping this first run? Uh, <laughs> whoever <laughs> wants it. Who did the most shoveling? Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll, okay. You're gonna keep this first this first run, and yeah, we'll just keep it in your pan for you. Okay. This mat here is lit one side, and it comes free. it out in the 
bucket, actually, this one. So I'm catching stuff coming down. Call. And we reverse, we, re we bend it backwards on itself so it will open up those grooves again. And then right through the bucket. Back down through that bucket. And then do it upside, or do the back side as well, because the back side does catch just a little bit of stuff that goes through. There we go. I'll wash all that down in a second. But, we have another pan? We need something to put the cons in for you. Now, I know you want to see what's in there, but uh, if you were doing this all day long and we're going to clean all this up later, I would just yeah. sort of leave this now and go do another run. Okay. But I know you want to see what's in there, so. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're good panning? You don't. You Get in there. Your, you trust Get, yourself? Get in there. You want me to do it? Uh, you don't mind. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thompson River is infamous for how flat the gold is. So panning here, you have to take it pretty slow. And there's also lots of very heavy heavies here. The black sand seems to be heavier than normal. I don't think it actually is, but just the fact that there's so much of it. So you gotta take it pretty slow panning this stuff down. And I won't take it down too far. Just get the blondes off the surface so we can see what's there. Put the rest with your cons. When you go home tonight, you can go sit at the kitchen table and hang all out. <laughs> uh, maybe that's just me that takes over the kitchen table. What us see what this looks like. Oh yeah, look at all that gold. Oh yeah. Ooh, buddy. It's everywhere. All through, yeah. On the back side here, there's a couple of bigger pieces. Chunk of lead up top of it. A little bit. There you go, that's our first run. Not bad, not bad. Thank you. You're welcome, you can put that in with your cons and we'll set her up and go for round two. So I have the bags of Easter Pater giveaway here for my patrons that are joining me today. I'm gonna give each one of them one of the bags. See the chunk of egg at Nopal in there. And then I got a special gift for Andrew over there for taking all that drone footage for me last time. So guys, I have got your Easter pay dirt giveaway here today. So there's a bag for you. Thank you. A bag for you there. Thank you. And one for you as well. And for Andrew, Andrew got his pay dirt last time he was here. But for Andrew, I have the first of the oh, Dan Hurd Prospecting Buckets <laughs> as a gift for Andrew right for on. taking all that drone footage. That might take some more. Perfect. All right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and there will be more of those being made shortly. We got Kyle doing a clean out now. We saw a couple of real nice flakes in the sluice, so hopefully this is a good clean up. And again, do you want to pan this? Do you want me? I would rather have you pan it. <laughs> sure thing. Definitely. 
here comes another train. So I had to come up for a bite to eat. I thought I'd take a shot at the guys down there working on the plane. These three are workhorses. Look at the hole they've created. Doing a great job here. I am actually digging too. I'm filling buckets from a high grade spot and bringing it over and running it through. So even though it doesn't look like I do much work, because I'm always on camera, I'm actually working. Really, really I am. So I'm down in this little hole between two rocks and down deep in, in the bigger rocks, seeing if I can get some high grade, sort of the bigger pieces are often hiding in these big rocks up here. And of course I'm using the Arbor Fabricating Classifier, just on a bucket, I'm dry classifying right now, it's working really well. If you want your own Arbor Fabricating Classifier, there's a link and a discount code down in the description. Anyhow, I'm trying to work the layer between the sort of clay stuff at the bottom down here and the sand up above. That layer right there is where I think all the gold is sitting. So I'm trying to get as much of that as possible. Obviously the top stuff falls in on me though. Right there. And just bringing the buckets over and running through the sluice with the guys over there. When I run the buckets through it gives them a bit of a breather and of course today it all goes to the patrons pond is starting to show that we've been working all day long. It's coming close to the edge here, seeping through the rocks a little bit there, showing up here a bit. We still have a ways to run before it's going to be a problem because it's coming in very slowly to right here, but it does fill up. So the guys say they found a picker. Where is, oh look at that. There we go. There she is. There she blows. Nice. A few other pieces up there too, eh? Yeah, a yeah. couple small ones there. One down in the second, or third from the... Right there. On the oh, other yeah. side close to you, right? right? Oh right yeah, there. a couple of nice ones there. This might be a good load. We worked our butts off. You guys did. <laughs> need some material. Well, let's clean her up. Again, put a plug in for Mark from Gold Stream Plaster Supplies, the supplier of the Gold Owl Matting. He's doing a great job for us today. It is catching everything. 
doing very well. And I love how easy it is to take in and out and wash out. So thank you, Mark, from Gold Stream Plaster Supply. Your mats are amazing. So the hole I was digging in just filled up with water. So we only have a few more minutes before it's too high over here. Our tailings pond has come to the end of its usefulness. Well, for a bit. Oh, the wind. <laughs> it gets harder and harder to aim as the day goes on. Just give it a couple minutes here, a couple, a couple more seconds to clear itself out here. That's probably good. Oh, actually, just, just hold on. Wash her all down nicely. Okay, that's probably good. Go, Mark! Oh, good. Nice piece over there. Oh, nice piece over here, too. Couple nice ones in here, yep. Nothing as big as that last time. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Yeah. Oh, a whole bunch right here. Look at yeah, that. Five, six. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One right yeah. there, a picker. We got a picker right there. <laughs> yeah. A mini picker. Mini picker. A mini picker. Micro. There. It's only a picker if you use tweezers. <laughs> a tweezer picker. Yeah. Alrighty. And yet another cleanup. I see something in there. It's not gold. I see gold going by though. Little pieces of gold. Right there. Yeah. Oh, look at it all. There's just pieces everywhere through that black. It's not settled out nicely. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. nice pieces. What the heck is that? I have no idea what that BB? is. BB? Another BB? Fishing. Fishing lure? Yeah. Part of a fishing lure. Oh. I don't know. Gold throughout this, all the black sands here. Oh, little pellet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice, nice gold. Yeah. There's already so much that went down there. Oh, yeah, just loaded back there. All of the black sand here is just loaded with it. It'll take a while to clean that up. So you having fun? Oh yeah, I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. Always having fun. Always. So everyone, we're gonna sign off from the Thompson River. This was James, Jason, Andrew, Kyle, and of course Dan. Please remember to like the video, share it if you can, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. So until the next one, everyone. Bye, bye, bye.